Okay, Mengsk. Hello everyone, it is StarCraft 2, it's Direct Strike, and it is Commanders. And it is not just that, it's the Weekly Brawl kind of match. Not that I really care, the Weekly Brawl this week was a bit weird. Oh, and I offended somebody. Uh, they unsubscribed because I... <laughs> I used the word christening. I christened, christened a region in Manor Lords. And apparently that word offended them. So to anybody else offended by the use of that word, I, um, I guess I apologize. Uh, please subscribe if you're not offended. And if you're offended, subscribe as well and we can have a chat about that. Uh, <laughs> I, I just find it remarkable. Now people still can freak out about words. And also, I've been told by um, YouTube policy that I can't speak about certain things that's happening currently in a country that I'm not even in. That they're scared that might be affected if people speak about it. Three guesses what that could be. The weirdest things people care about. Starts with a P. Actually, if you break it down into two words, it's multiple blood-sucking creatures. That's what it is. Anybody who catches that reference or catches the drift of what I just said, you know what I'm on about. Multiple blood-sucking creatures. I think it's insects. And you get what the word is I'm not supposed to say on uh, on the channel. Because uh, it might affect some people. You know, some sleepy old people. Some fruit and some giggly ones. I don't know how else to describe it, okay? It's just stupid. It really is. But we are here for StarCraft. And this is the fun thing. This is the hilarious thing about this. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I've got Mengsk versus a Kerrigan. I haven't played Mengsk a lot. And even if I did play them a lot, I probably wouldn't remember how to do this. Because I just... Oh my god. My memory is so crap. I had an MRI yesterday of my head. And uh, they say usually there's no after effects, no side effects. And it, I didn't even get the dye, the gadolinium. Gadolinium. I, and I say gadolinium like that because I'm reading it off the screen. So I remember I want to talk about this. I honestly, you know... I was like, ah, probably wouldn't be anything. It's it's just a small little thing. Small little procedure. So in the middle of this whole ordeal, is what I'm going to call it now, I started getting the most intense headache. I'm not claustrophobic. I'm not anything of the sort. But I had the worst headache. And that transition into a migraine, usually when I get a migraine, it starts with... The squiggly little line things in your eyes. And then it transitions sometimes into a headache, sometimes just nausea. Sometimes it just feels like... I don't even know how to describe it. But this was different. This was... It started with <clears throat> the headache and transitioned into the nausea and then into the squiggly liney things. Which was absolutely horrible um didn't like it still don't like it and i don't want to do that ever ever again but i'm gonna have to because i am getting a ct and that's worse because that's gonna have the die and i'm not looking forward to that in any way shape or form that's not gonna be fun uh, what is also not fun is I am being beaten. It's five minutes in and I've been talking about all sorts of crap. 
which is actually nice. I'm going to do this as a story time. I'm going to name it story time, and I also don't know, and I've said this many times before, I don't know how the algorithm works, because I had one video that went absolutely insane for me. It had 700 views in one day, and the next one had seven views in, like, how many hours? 18 hours. How does that even work? How does it compute? I have no idea. So, yeah, I don't know exactly how the algorithm works. I need to... And it's difficult. That's the other thing. It's difficult to learn because that's why I'm getting these head scans so I can figure out why it's difficult to learn. And um, it doesn't help <laughs> that I have to do this all the learning crap and things. Oh, it, it, it's just uh, insane. It, 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 uh... <sighs> Woosa. Calm down. You get some meds in me. Anyway, I think it's been a relatively decent day, actually, today. I made a curry, which was kind of nice. I did something this morning. And I'm not completely out dead on my feet. Well, I'm tired, but I'm not as absolutely incomprehensibly tired as I usually am. Which is already a bonus. <laughs> I'm usually sitting here like, actually, I am kind of tired. So I'm going to make some, hang on. I'll make this a bit smaller. There we go. My face needs to be a bit smaller on the screen. Just a little bit. I'm actually thinking about trying to... I have no idea how to, but I want to use my... Where is it? Where is it? Uh... <laughs> I don't just want to pop up an image, and it's not the image I'm looking for. There's an image that I want to utilize in my videos but i want to you know you know my profile pic essentially i want to change that into a actually like a rotating almost like uh what you used to get for the clans the rotating emblem on the front of the uh the nexus that is something something like that that would be nice i think that's the idea. I don't know how to do it. I have no idea how to do it. So I'm going to try and figure that out. But like most of the things that I've done, like the uh, the review, which reminds me, as soon as we reach 500 subscribers, I'm giving away this puppy. As you can see, it's a full 300 millimeter, 360 millimeter man moo wonderful water cooler and actually my what i'm going to be doing i'm gonna be i decided on doing something a little different i am going to utilize some old parts that i've got that uh well that's not nice of them they've they've really done me in there i'm gonna need one of these uh I'm going to use some old parts, some 220, um, 2695E4s, I've got two of them and 64 gigs of ECC memory with a dual CPU motherboard thing. I am going to be using that to create a production device, utilizing two, two 40 millimeter water coolers. The idea behind it is so that I can do rendering at the same time as recording. Because at the moment, I can do... I probably could do both at the same time. But only in things like StarCraft and so on. I can't really do that in, you know, a big AAA. <laughs> because that's that will not work. There's no way that'll work uh for the 
for a very simple reason as well. Um, rendering actually takes a lot of juice, depending on what you use. Uh, I'm running AMD, a full AMD system, and not because, you know, oh, AMD is the best. It's what fits, number one, my pocket, and number two, it is what fit what I needed and what was the best value for money by miles, actually. I don't know why more people aren't using the 6000 series or 7000 series CPUs. They're just, not CPUs, GPUs. And even CPUs, because they're just so much better value than the Intel counterparts. Really, really, really much better uh, value by miles. So for me, uh, I almost want to say it's an absolute no-brainer. I'm not here advertising AMD. That's not the point. The point that I'm trying to make is... Uh, what, what was the point? What I, <laughs> oh... I'm going to use the dual Xeon device as the rendering machine and then use this one as the capture machine. I'm going to just use pool storage to have everything together effectively. So I can, you know, pull the data onto there via my network and then just pop it back over to... Um, to my uh, uh, machine once it's done rendering on the on the Xeon machine, and I think that would actually kind of work very well for the very simple reason. Again, we try and keep it simple. I want to be able to do multiple things at once, and I've I did find myself simply. I, I can't do um, multiple renders even. I don't know how to do that. I, I've tried to figure it out, but I can't. So I've given up on that. So if I do need to do multiple renders, I can do multiple renders because I, I can render on that machine and this machine. So that should not be too much of a problem. That's into the future anyway. Right now, we're actually looking to fight back a bit, and I have gone for the beautifully designed Pride of August grad for the simple reason I think it would be brilliant versus um, Kerrigan she doesn't really have much anti-air to deal with the level of uh, <laughs> of this so I think we might be doing this one quite well oh yeah the pride is doing us proud, baby. Jeez. This thing is incredibly strong. That went well. I think we pushed them quite well. The only problem is that they pushed quite hard back with what they had. Uh, Earthshaker. This thing is just expensive to level up and get to a point where it's actually effective. It does get effective, believe me. For stationary targets like tanks and stuff, and especially these bastards at the back, it'll be really good. And now for these ones, it'll be brilliant as well. The only thing I take a lot of solace in, Kerrigan does not have the type of anti-air required to uh, really take on the pride so yeah i'm not buying i'm actually so okay i think i don't have to save up anymore because i've got it's like uh, 4200 xp so 4200 xp that's a lot of xp but by the time i've saved up enough moolah hmm the problem is, the Haka is not finishing off his wave, and they're leaving these things, and these things are also a problem. Um, the walkers, what are they called? Oh, God. Something. Something walker. Johnny Walker or something. I. <laughs> he went... He went ground? 
What? I, uh, uh huh? Okay, either I'm not. I'm confused. Does he know that Ultralist doesn't shoot up? Because he built Ultralisks to take on Pride. Now, like I said, I'm no expert in this game. I, I've never claimed to be the the best in this game. And I actually find it so funny. I played one this morning. Just a regular 3v3 commander one. And we had this guy on the opposite team who was going absolutely bananas at everybody else. Oh, you're a noob or you're weak. And... It turns out he did the least damage, had the least kills, killed the least amount of value units in the whole game. But he's the one that's shouting at everybody. He's like, oh, you suck. You're bad. You're, you're a noob. Don't be that guy. Just don't be that guy. That is just hilariously bad. Anyway, we are going to get a second pride going here. Because there's no counter. This is when it. This is where, I guess, experience comes into play. You, Kerrigan does not have anything in her arsenal to deal with pride. Because as soon as she goes absolutely anything, air, I just go black hammer, and. Black Hammer will take out each and every single one of her little, um, uh, what's the thing's called? Uh, Mutilisks. The only thing, the only two people who really can count to me is number one, these guys, because they make very ouchy, they shoot hard. They shoot very hard. Hundred and 100 plus damage per shot is insane. I'm not doing that much kills because I'm not getting to... Actually, upgrading is quite, 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 quite well. Why can't I speak, people? Oh, okay. I was going to do something I forgot what I wanted to do. What did I want to do? What did I want to do? What did I want to do? I wanted to... Actually, I want to check this out. So 175 gives me 35. 500 gives me 110. Uh, three of these, I mean, three, three. It's better to do three of these. That's just math. Doing math is hard. I actually have a headache. Uh, shock division. Because. My iPhone just unlocked, not unlocked, but did something weird. Why would you? Oh, it's fully charged. I don't like iPhones. And I know somebody is not going to be offended by that. I just don't. I've, I've got both. For people who don't believe me, there, Samsung and iPhone. I've got both. Um... I'm gonna shit. I'm gonna need to blur out the front. Damn it! I need to remember to blur out that. That wasn't smart at all. <laughs> okay, so that that needs to be. I need to actually make a note at 19 minutes. Now I need a pen. I've got a pen. Now I need paper. Because if I don't make a note, I'm going to miss this. And if I miss this, I'm in deep trouble. So, okay. Uh, blur. At 19.30. That's an insight, in, insight into the process. Why can't I build another one? 
Where did my money go? Oh, I could. Great. Now we've got two of them. Why is my allies losing? Why are you losing, allies? I don't like it when you lose. It makes me look bad. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot of armor. But at least... Okay, actually... They do make ouchy these things. Holy crap, they shoot fast. Why do they shoot so fast? Oh, they're on creep, that's why. And they've got that thing. But, again, you're facing two of the most powerful uh, things in the game. The pri I don't understand. Pride should be a single spawn unit because it is just incredibly power powerful. You shouldn't be able to build like ten of them. I guess, no, look. If you can build 10 of them, I applaud you because they're expensive as hell. And it's also difficult to level them up, to be fair. So, I guess, yeah, if you can't afford to build 10 of them and make them all tier 3, y you kind of deserve uh, <laughs> the plaudits for that. Oh, really? Really? You you're going to play that game? I I've got Ultralisks, too. I can use Ultralisks. I'll show you. As soon as you stop killing everything of mine. I can show you my Ultralisks. I'm gonna build me some of these Ultras. We, we are doing the Manchester United Ultras over here. Lie down there. And what I actually used to write this down <laughs> is uh, for my port expander that I used. Because motherboards today, I've complained about this before, but I say I'll say it again. Motherboards today do not come with enough ports at all. I remember I had a... Was it Extreme 11 or Extreme 9 from Asbrock years and years ago? And had like, was it 12 or 14 ports? Oh, it was just drives everywhere. Your, your PC... You had to... I, I had the 9... Uh, uh, the Cooler Master 935 Stacker. That thing was insane. It was a modular PC. Like, literally modular. Where you had one piece here and another one you can screw on the top and one you can screw on the bottom. I had the 925 or 930... It, it had different modules. I can't remember what they were called. But anyway, I had the big one. The one with all the modules attached. Oh, oh, are we going to win it here? Hang on, I'll tell you this story right after we win this. Boom, baby. That's how we do it. Let's look at the spice. I did uh, not that well, actually. Kudos to Plop. <laughs> um, <laughs> of all the names. Of all the names you could choose in this world. Plop. What do we think? What else makes that sound? Plop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me make a note here to show the 935 stacker. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. What exactly we used to rock back in the day. Those things were huge. Actually... Come to think of it, it was not quite in the league of the new new newly released. Um, what's that mental thing from? Uh, hang on, hang on. Uh, where's where is a browser when you need one? 
Uh, Corsair, I believe, is... Oh, I want to make... Uh, give me a second. Just want to do that. Corsair. Uh... Yes. That Corsair 9000D. <laughs> that thing is huge. Absolutely monstrously huge. Now, I've been trying to get... I don't think it's for sale yet. Uh, I don't think it's for sale yet. If it goes on sale... That's the thing. I want to check out when it goes on sale. Because I want to measure it. Um, no, that's the 1,000. Everything you need to know. Actually, this would be cool. By the way, like, share, subscribe, comment. You know, do the regular things while we're waiting for more people to join here. I want to see how big. They don't actually show dimensions. They, they tell you it takes 8 120 millimeters at the top, 8 120 millimeters in the front, 3 8 3 120 millimeters on the side and 2 at the rear. That is a lot of fan edge. You really can't cool it. But it does I've got nowhere where it actually shows any dimensions. It is definitely about half a meter high. That's just a given from the um from the basic look four times 120 you get uh 480 and there's space above and below that it doesn't take a genius y you could do that math in trade three probably lower and then the mesh if i do XL, that's the case that I have. I've got the Meshify 2XL because I love it. I love the understatedness. The pure, just plainness of this case is so awesome. It's not pretentious. It's, it's just a black slab case. What more do you need? Okay, we are in game. While I'm looking at <laughs> and I've got Zagara that's actually out oh crap I misplaced that view specification oh uh, how big is this thing um okay um <clears throat> It, uh, it's also big. <laughs> I didn't, I know physically how big it is because it's, it's right here, right here. I, I, I was not expecting what I just read though, at all. It's 600 millimeters long. It's it's more than half a meter tall. I... Wow. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, this just makes me sad. Where's the blade? I still haven't found the... Uh... I still have not found my bearing for that, which sucks. So I can't refit the thing that's missing it sucks because I really 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 like that very old <laughs> I, people don't get this I, I'm, I'm quite sure people do not understand this but even though this is a very old HD 7950 it just is awesome. I had two of these in Crossfire back in the day, like ages ago. And I remember the one game that I couldn't play with that on 
was StarCraft because it would micro stutter so badly. Certain points in the game would be fine, but then you get to a battle and it's like, uh, uh, it, it just spasms everywhere. Oh, those were the days. Man, I I miss the days of just good old boring <laughs> everything. Oh, they've gone air. Really? Really? Is that what you think of me? You think that's going to work? Well, sure. Let's do this. I build some of these babies and I blow you up. Boom! Jackalaka. Oh, and just FYI, I will move them back. So, uh, so they're not immediately in the target of the uh, things he's going to inevitably build. His, um, oh, uh, God, what are they called? Vikings. Ooh, that one was, that's the wrong part. Oh, he didn't go Vikings. He just let them die. Okay, I don't know if that's the right way to go about it, but if it works for him... Oh, hang on. I misplaced all of these. Yeah. Why? <sighs> Come on. You need to be sure your lines are clear and well-defined, or else... It doesn't look good, and we like to look good on this channel. I'm looking at my... My, my um... Uh, my portrait, my... My face. <laughs> oh, I hate my allies. Now I've got to use up my explosiveness on my enemies, because my allies suck. That's fun. That is so much fun. That is, that's par for the course. So, we want to get a couple of these guys. The reason I'm getting those is so they can take the attention of the other units so that uh, my Scourge don't get shot immediately in the face. Does my AI work well and i read this morning that they say there's gonna be an ai bust or ai um basically like the dot-com bubble burst it's gonna be the same oh come on dude build uh what's the thing build uh look at mm. Why do I have to do everything? Just... Please, just build... Things. Um, Vikings. Build Vikings. Build Vikings. For Muta. Please. He wheezes. <laughs> that W was not supposed to be there. Forgive it. It it snuck in. <laughs> Pluies, Pluies. I want. I use up all my scourge on it. Oh my God! It's so. Mm, that is so frustrating. Finally, he's got two Vikings. They're going to help nothing. 
But at least he's got two Vikings. That is so frustrating. Why can't the Terran that I'm against just act like a normal damn Rainer and go ground? That would have been so much nicer. But no, he's got to be special. He's got to be one of the guys that decides, I am going to go and build things that fly because I'm a... Let's not, let's not finish that sentence. Oh, okay. That's brave. Um, not sure that was a smart decision on his part, but okay. I, I will give him that. That's a ballsy move. That is a ballsy move. He goes for... He's going air versus somebody that's actually very good air in Zagara. That is not a good move. That is not a good move at all. And, oh, by the way, I've sort of given up on Helldivers because my mate that got me to get Helldivers doesn't play with me as he promised he would. So, um, and I don't like FPS. I, I guess I should do another episode because apparently some people liked it. He got some subs. <laughs> but I don't like playing FPS games. I'm not good at them. Number one, I, I, I am not. What the hell happened? What the hell did you do? Don't just... There we go. Pew, 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 pew! That's awesome. That is... When you see those Terran units melt like that, it is just the most beautiful sight in the world. Except when it's your units. Then it's like, oh, no, no, no. Not again. Uh... Yeah, then it sucks a lot. This sucks even more. Because this guy... Has he... Oh, he's got... He's building more. I was like, if he's not building more, I'm going to freak out. Because he really needs to up production of it. But now he's sort of... Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Now you can stop. Now you can stop. There. We're going to do that now. Kill all of their unit. There we go. You see now I've overproduced air. Uh, slightly overproduced air units. Though, um, this guy is not going to be able to build anything air for quite some time. Uh, we we kind of have the monopoly on that for a bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. This guy is struggling though. And this is not good. This is not good. You are just as strong as your weakest link. And I am not going to stand for your skull and crossbones. I will mark my territory. This is my line. There you go. Mine. All mine. Where's Zagara? Oh, okay, you haven't shot that out yet. That is good. Yeah, kill that. And then go... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. We've got a problem. You see, this is, this is the issue. My allies make me have to deal with their crap. And I can't do it because I don't have the units for it. Oh... It's going to be one of those days where I am just going to be hovering between absolute ecstasy of, yes, we are killing them, and absolute frustration of, why do I always get the bricks? Why can't I ever get somebody who actually can build more than one unit? And manipulate his wave a little bit. Look at this. Look at... Just look at it. Look at it. <laughs> There we go. Kill... Oh. Damn. 
My allies suck so much. Okay. Uh, we are going to be shifting to a bit more ground units. Ground units that shoot up because uh, they cannot be shot by the Vikings while the Vikings are in air mode. That's the idea. Mm, I am not happy. Not happy at all. Uh, what's going on? Now he's go he's doing too much air. More tanks, less air. Oh my word! Why is it why? I don't know what you're saying, but I don't even know if I should agree with you or not. There we go. That's how you do it. I'm just going to say that because I don't know what you're saying. If you are Russian, uh, I don't speak Russian. I uh, I can say on yes, I, I eat. And Yatsibia Luvayu, Letsibia Luvayu, I love you. That's something I can say. <laughs> don't ask why. Uh, I did try and learn to speak the language years ago. I'm talking about 2015, 20, well, 2015, 2018. Tried to do it via Rosetta Stone and it just did not work. Oh my word. This, mm. You see, this I hate. Because now I have to deal with all of this ground and all of this air. Mm. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Raise them up. Let's <laughs> just die in transit. That's fine by me. What's not fine by me is the fact that I've got to now build these guys. Because my allies are not doing their damn job. And that's frustrating as hell. Mmm. Do I, do I, that's the question, do I, should I, more like, not just do I, should I, yeah, I've done that, uh, where's my nuts, oh, crap, I lost I completely lost sight of my mouse over there. I did not see it at all. That was weird. They're like a motion blind this thing. What is happening here? Please just beat this guy. Mm, you know what I see as a potential issue here? If this guy goes Black Hammer, we are going to be in trouble. This guy's going to be in big trouble. He doesn't really have much to counter that. Hmm. Um, what am I going to do? Okay, yeah. I'm going to need a lot more of you guys. <laughs> and I'm going to need a lot more of the other stuff. I am just... I am now specializing in air. That is... That is effectively what I'm going to be doing. It's like, you want air? We will go dance air all day long. Play the music, white boy. <laughs> what is that song? I don't even... That's way old. Like, really, I, I think that's way, way old. Because I can't remember, and I'm way old. Is that mine? Yes, it is. I couldn't even... I couldn't even remember. I got that. But I, but I did. I did. I'm the awesome one who got it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
Okay, come on. Close up, close up, close up, close up. And speed up. There we go. Now shoot. That Hyperion is the stupidest AI controlled unit in this game. Bar none. There's absolutely no unit as stupid as the Hyperion. And it's a very simple thing. It jumps into war. Not, I'm going to jump away so they don't target me. I'm going to jump into where the Scourge is so they can all just go whoop. And, and kill me one shot. That is just stupid. That's a special kind of stupid. I don't know why it does that. It really isn't... Um, I don't know why the AI does that. It really jumps the complete wrong way. And I think it does this little shake and it's like, what the hell? And then it just jumps into whatever danger is closest. It... Can we see that happen? I actually want to see if it's going to do the shake. It usually does this little shake before it jumps. Oh, okay, it didn't do it this time. And it jumped, it actually jumped well this time. It still died, obviously, because I just have way too much anti-air at this point for him to not die. Um, yeah, they are, they, we rule the skies effectively unless they go black hammer that's my only fear for my ally is if they go black hammer then we are in trouble because that would be that would be bad that would be significantly bad i just don't know how to necessarily break the stronghold i think if i finish the line of uh, corruptors we should be fine air-wise, then I can go for uh, ground focus more. And I think that's what we need next, is just a whole bunch of... Uh, um, you see that stupid jump. I, I don't know why it does that. We need a whole bunch of... What, what are they called? These things, aberrations. As soon as we get them, I think it should be GG because they can just then break down the front door. At the moment, the the weakest link. Who is the weakest link? I, I think it might be this guy, really. Because it's, it says I'm killing the least units. Obviously, you can't see here who's doing the, um, the most damage. Killing units is one thing. But you have to remember that sometimes, especially when you face a player like... Uh, uh, a Tychus or somebody that's building high value units you can kill like 10% of the units but you will have 60% of the value of units killed or the damage done and that's what's not being shown here so it's not always indicative sometimes it's nice to see oh I'm killing 50% of the units or I, the highest I've seen myself was like 70 something percent in a three-player game, I think, like, are you guys really playing? And it turns out, yes, they were. They were just facing, you know, like a Tychus or a Nova that only goes for the hologram. So it's not, it's not straightforward, I think, is the takeaway from this. It's not always the number of kills you do is how good you are. It is circumstantial mostly about what is the circumstance who are you facing are you facing tychus or are you facing rainer because killing rainer's units unless obviously like this guy is going big units you get the point damn it i i i can't articulate it at the moment i've got a bit of brain parts I'm getting really, really tired now. Oh, there we go. He started building black hammers. Now is this is the trouble that I was talking about. Black hammer is a really potent unit versus air, and he's facing air units. So we might now run into a little bit of resistance. 
that is why we need to start pushing to finish this game. We are almost at 25 minutes and th this episode is over 50 minutes long. This is going to be a very, very long StarCraft 2. And I'm going to make it one episode because why not? Why not? I like to treat you guys. The first one was a beautiful win. I hope this one is a beautiful win too. Although at this point I cannot guarantee it because my allies are now starting to leave stuff on the field of play. Which isn't ideal because these things are not always nice to deal with. Go. Come on. Come on. Oh, that is cool. That is just so cool. Just, we are just wiping the floor with... Well, I am. And then this thing comes like, Oh, guess what? <laughs> I'm going to be racking up kill. Oh, God, he's got two of them. <laughs> oh, we've got an AFK. Oh. Who was that? What, what was he? Oh, thank goodness. That's just him. That's the least, I think, of my concern. Let's quickly go C40. Yeah. I think that was probably... Was it our weakest link? I would like to think he was the weakest link. Uh, certainly didn't do us any favors. At all. But now we are under pressure because... That's, that's why they actually pushed us back as much as they did they uh, they could push us back simply because we were a man down or not a man down as such because he was his units were still there it's just he wasn't building anything so in that sense yeah definitely a man down oh that is beautiful this is so beautiful I did so much damage there uh, T4 Oh, this is going to be... Now it's getting interesting. Now it is going to be interesting. Because this guy is not set up to deal with... Oh, man, this is bad. I don't think either of us are really set up to deal with... Dealing with this guy is not that difficult. Dealing with... Uh... Yeah, like you can see there. That's the wrong one. Dealing with the Zerg is not that difficult. Dealing with the two Terrans is going to be problematic, I believe. So, oh man, this is... It's one of those matches where you need alcohol to get through it. He is not set up to deal with this at all. I am the only one set up to deal with air of any sort. And ground, apparently. Because I just... Uh... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Azagara is versatile. I'll give her that. I've got a good air. And I've got good ground as well. And, okay, he's also... That was unexpected. I did not expect him to go Hyperion. I was not looking at money at all. But I did not expect him to go Hyperion. I was like, he's a bit behind. Turns out he's not that far behind. He's actually doing pretty damn well. And now I think this is GG. Or it's going to be close. Come on. Ah, oh, no, not this, not this time. I don't think we've got it. Not this time. Oh, no. If they could shoot down, it would have been nice, but they can't. It's up to him to bring us close, and I will finish it. I will probably finish it. Oh, come on. These guys are quite easy, I think. Or relatively, I would say. Easy to um, to take on. They're the weaker ones. Or the ones more susceptible to... Uh, oh, my 
word that was insane. That was insane. Everything just like mass died. Come on. We, ju we just can't get through this last little hurdle. It's ju just that last little bit. It's like Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington. The nearly headless ghost. Couldn't get through the last bit. <laughs> oh, I've got more of these. Let's go. Boom. 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 There's not much I can do with regards to the battle. And it, this is actually... Oh, that is beautiful. When they pull me in towards them and they kill the unit, it explodes and kills the vipers with it. That's why the explosions are good. Jeremy Clarkson, I'm going to tag you in this because you like explosions. Probably, I think, tagging Clarkson in this would be absolutely pointless because he would have no idea what's going on here. <laughs> He'd be like... He's old. He is old, but he's great. And I'm very sad. They're, they're ending. The Grand Tour, everything. Um, the whole motor culture. And that's actually been a thing. Uh, when I look back at the good old days, back when the RS4 4.2 liter V8 came out, that was when I really started getting into motoring and cars and stuff. And I was like, look at that. 300 and something kilowatts. It was insane. And um, now hatchbacks does that. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, okay. And it's the same with computers, actually. You used to have these lovely absolutely stunning motherboards and stunning everything and i think only asbox still makes good looking motherboards the rest are just ugh, copy and paste generic black or generic white things nothing really stands out anymore there's no more copper fins and heat sinks and oh i miss that i miss the good old days of just good old-fashioned cra crazy silliness. That was fun. That was absolutely... That was just really fun. And now we're just... Everything's just boring. Boring plastic masses. That's what I talked about. They suck them in and then it's just... Boom and everything dies. Oh, it's so close. So so close but we're not quite there we are very very close like on the cusp of victory but we can't we can't convert it we're, we are like hold on to your hats people we are like the English football team we get to the final and then we kick it into our own goal because we don't know how to win a final but this time we do this is it that's how you do it that is how you do it i want to see actually how well i did because i think i was the better player especially in the second half i really caught up to him um yeah i think i did well we both did well. He did not do that well. Albeit he's been away for quite a while. And this is what I meant. Mineral value killed. What's the value of the stuff you kill? Because higher value items are usually more powerful. And it's the same here. He actually beats me here. And here. Which is kind of odd. Well, actually here is quite a lot. I don't, shouldn't be showing that too much. But this tells a lot as well how much did you kill value wise and it's generally good to have a higher score here um yeah this is basic we won okay that's it 
we won. We're the best. And uh, they sucked. <laughs> That's well. I'm going to stick to that. But I think this guy played it very wrong. What's... Uh, he's a bit of a noob, so... You don't go air at all versus Agara. There's just... 143 damage. And this one spawns two of them when he dies. And then you've got Vipers. Here. Viper pulls in. Brings this unit that spawns two of them. Right in between the stuff that's flying. Kills it. Those two. And everything dies. So don't. If you're facing Zagara, don't go Viper. Ever. It's the worst thing you can do. Like it, because I think this was a great video, and I hope you do too. Subscribe to the channel, because when we get to 500, I'm going to share, not share. I'm going to start the process of giving away that Manmu 360mm water cooler. And if you want to know more about it, go look at the channel. There's a review up of both the three, 360 and the 240mm versus a thermal right 360 frozen knot and a assassin king se120 and the amd stock cooler who sucked hard and i did a oh but i didn't put that on the on the um i did not put the overclock on the actual thing the video but I will be running two 240mm Manmu coolers on my Xeon rig that will be built soon. And I will put that in a video because that's going to look awesome. Can't wait. See you guys next time. Have a very good day. And um, I'm happy I want to play some That is... Here's the